Hi everyone, the second one of two makeup videos today. Max Factor are the official uh, makeup partner of the new Star Wars movie and as part of their whole Glamour Force idea they wanted women to take inspiration from these pictures but make the looks more wearable and just basically have fun with makeup. So today I've done my dark side look and this is I'm calling it double berry um, because I have a wash of metallic berry on the lips and a little kind of wash of smoky metallic berry on the eyes and also a little bit of smoky black coal as well. So hope that you enjoy this. Let's go back to the start and see what I did. Woo! <laughs> so starting off with foundation and I'm using the Max Factor Face Affinity uh, 3 in 1 foundation. So this is primer, concealer and foundation in one pretty much what I need because I'm a little bit short of time. Nothing unusual there, but we've missed a nap. I haven't missed a nap, the baby's missed a nap, so I'm not sure how long we've got before things start getting a bit crazy. So look, good coverage from this, but the thing that I like most is the fact that you can just build it up in the areas where you need to. So I'm using that as a bit of a concealer as well, and I've taken it across the lids just as a little bit of a priming base for my shadow that I'm going to put on. I'm using a kind of metallic-y berry shadow on the lids just as a wash. It's a little bit of a, a pared down smoky eye, this look. And this is an eyeshadow quad from Saku. I cannot for the life of me pronounce it, but I shall put it in the description box below. So just a little wash of that over the lids. And just blending it out slightly to the side of the eye. Just to give it a bit of shape. Then taking a little bit of that underneath on the lower lash line as well, just very softly. And now for a bit of smoky smudging, I've got a jet black coal pencil, this one's from Chanel, and I've got a smudging brush, like little tiny kind of stiff bristles on this. And I'm just gonna take the coal pencil into the waterline and slightly outside. So into the waterline there, and then just taking it onto the lower lash line. And I've got my smudgy brush. And I'm just softening that out. Now, I have done this look because I've been messing around with it all week, about seven times. And each time I've added more and more eyeliner and it's just completely ruined the look and made it really messy. So I'm learning from my mistakes and I'm stopping right here. And that is as smoky as I'm going. So I would say that the smudging part is the most important part of this really. And so having the right little tool is important. So I'm just lining the upper waterline, which is horrible. And then going in with my mascara. I'm using the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara, and this is the Star Wars one. I don't know whether you can see that there. Now this mascara is so brilliantly buildable. Some mascaras, you put on a first coat and then that's it, game over. If you try to add to them, it's all a bit crispy and weird. This one, It's brilliant for building up. I'll show you when I go in for a little second coat. I've got a baby rolling on my feet. Somebody said in a previous video, could you please show the baby when you mention the baby? But the logistics of that are really difficult because the camera's on a tripod. I'd have to stop. I'd then have to refocus everything would change, the light would probably change, and it'd be a nightmare. Really have to resist the urge to um, keep going in with more eyeliner there, that is plenty smoky enough. 
But what I am going to do is just um, fill in my brows a bit and I'm using the Amazonian Clay Volumizing Brow Powder from Tarte and I'm not using an eyebrow brush because I can't find an eyebrow brush. So I'm using a kind of angled eyeliner brush. But this is pretty much identical to the brow brush that I've got anyway. As you know, I'm not a massive fan of really drawn in brows, but I'm just gently taking a bit of powder through. So just slightly more defined, and I'm also popping some um, concealer stroke highlighter underneath the eyes, just to make sure that's all really clean underneath there. That was the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher. I shall put all the products that I've used below so that you can have a look. And then cheeks and lips. Cheeks, uh, Max Factor Creme Puff Blush in Nude Mauve. And I'm taking that underneath the cheekbone. Because I want it to be quite striking. Pat McGrath's Stormtrooper uh, image, or look that she did. It's very, very graphic. But for everyday wear, or even for evening wear, it's quite a far out look, which is the whole point of this glamour force idea, is making it more wearable. Now for the lips, I'm using uh, the Max Factor Star Wars lipstick. Again, this is shade 30, and I'm using it as a bit of a stain. So that we just have this really pretty wash of metallic berry on the lids and a little wash of metallic berry on the lips. So taking something very, very dramatic, the Stormtroop look, and making it a little bit more wearable. And there we have it, the dark side look. Uh, if you want to see the light side look, that was, as I said, earlier on in the week, so make sure you click the link below. I hope that you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.